I've, I've joined teams with the uh, ACLJ uh, to uh, draft an amicus brief that we're going to ask members of Congress to join with us, uh, that we will attach to each one of the bishop's suits, uh, that basically tell the court uh, that it is the intent of Congress that these HHH mandates are in violation of the First Amendment. Uh, you know, I find it very ironic uh, that when, uh, you know, being from Louisiana, that when the Ursuline Sisters, when Louisiana was acquired by the United States, the Ursuline Sisters wrote Thomas Jefferson in asking uh, the president, he was the president at the time, whether or not they would be able to continue their corporate works of mercy and be able to govern themselves. And Jefferson wrote back right away and said, absolutely, the Constitution uh, forbids the federal government from in, in involving itself uh, in, uh, in, in both the works that you do and the uh, ability for you to govern uh, your, uh, your institution. And so this is a clear violation of the First Amendment. Uh, it is a right of conscience issue. And we hope to encourage other people around the country to encourage their members of Congress to sign on to that amicus brief. Now you're you're involved in a pretty contentious uh, Republican primary race in Louisiana. You are considered the more conservative Tea Party candidate of the two candidates in the race. The other one is is Republican uh, Congressman Bustani. Give us an update on the race and how you how how can Tea Party aficionados or, or supporters support your campaign? Well, we've got a tremendous amount of support from uh, from Tea Party uh, groups in Louisiana, but you know it, it, those people who are out there who actually want to send a message to the establishment uh, here in Washington D.C. I'm a, I'm a great poster child for it because believe you me, the race that I'm running is against a completely uh, establishment a candidate who has voted um, uh, not consistent with our conservative principles, but more consistent with what Washington special interests up here uh, want him to vote. And people can go on, on our website at www.andryforlouisiana.com or just jefflandry.com and there are comparisons there. You can see our conservative scorecards. Uh, look, I, I came to Washington to institute change. I got here to decline my congressional health care, my congressional retirement, because you know what? We need people who want to serve the people and who answer to the people back home rather than to the people here in D.C.